Gee willikers, Albatross! What a crazy freaking week, right? We've gotten so many amazing tips from Ryan and everyone over at the Prehistoric Pad Location Services. We've learned how to build better from Ryan. We've gotten so much done. Wouldn't you say it's awesome, Albatross? You know, boy, it's been pretty good, but you know what? My time with you is pretty much up, so I'm gonna go ahead and fly on back to the Prehistoric Pad Location Services. It's been fun, Joe, so you take care now. Okay, well, bye, Albatross. Thanks for not eating me. I, uh, I really appreciate that. So, uh, once again, I'm alone on the island. Uh, nothing to do and need help building. Who will I ever call? You know, Joe, I get sick and tired of having to come to the rescue every single time you need help building. Isn't there someone else that you can call? I mean, damn. You are the neediest person when it comes to needing help building or anything like that. What is wrong with you, man? Haven't you ever heard of the internet? Well, yeah, Ryan, of course I've heard of the internet. That's the that's the thingy that's made out of tubes and stuff and Googles and, and the Bings and the Yahoos and all that stuff. But you're my friend. You're supposed to help me out when I ask for help. Whenever it comes to building or taming or anything on the island, you're just supposed to help me. Because that's what friends do, right? Ugh, yeah, I suppose so, Joe, but good lord, open up a dang iPhone, open up Google Chrome every once in a while, open up a dang YouTube video every once in a while, for God's sake. Stop coming to me! I have sleep, you know, I have businesses to run, you know? Goodness gracious! I guess I'll pass some more knowledge on to you! What do you want to know this time, Joe? Well, Ryan, I don't really know what I want to know. Just teach me something cool about building. Just teach me something that pops into your head. I'll, I'll learn anything. Well, okay, Joe. I'm sorry I blew up on you. My thatch hut got blown down by some stupid pigs. My stone hut got blown down by some stupid pigs, too. And now I'm afraid my metal base is going to get blown down by some stupid freaking pigs as well. So, I'll help you with this one, man. I'm sorry I blew up on you. Let's just get to building, bro. I got something for you that you're really going to like. What's up, guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Riantium's Top Tips. That's right, you guys. We are back, and oh, snap, it's going to be an awesome freaking day, but first... If you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898. Link is down there in the description. So, hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a skit in the beginning. I love making these videos so freaking much. I love making the skits in the beginning. So, let's get into today's episode. So, Joe wants help with making something kind of nifty, and he gave Ryan permission to do whatever the hell he wants to do, and you never want to do that with me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, so what I want to do with today's episode is I want to pass along something very, very cool that can be used in various builds. Um, and actually, you can pretty much use it in whatever you want to use it in. But this is what I would probably use it for. So we start off with a 2x2 two two foundation. Now, what you're going to need is you're probably going to need foundations, uh, uh, wooden walls, or you're going to need foundations, walls, ceilings, and ramps. So you're going to start off with a 2x2 two two foundation, and you're going to put the walls like this. Now, I'm just kind of spitballing with this because, truthfully, I've never actually built this before. But the only reason I know it, it works is because I've built something very similar to this on um, a raft. So I'm sure this is going to work. But anyways, go ahead and build up two, I guess, as tall as you want. The one I'm building right now is something that's going to kind of, I would say, resemble a watchtower. So we'll go ahead and build up, uh, let's go ahead and stop right, we'll go ahead and stop right there, that is plenty tall. So go ahead and place down your ceilings whichever way you want them to face. I like to make mine face the, uh, with that way going that way, and that way going that way, just for continuity's sake. And then, what I like to do is this. So with a foundation, you have the luxury of going out one, two, and then no more than a regular pillar would you would normally do. But anyways, what I'm going to do from here is something very, very cool and something very, very special. So the reason I have ramps 
is because I want to give this watchtower kind of a more, a kind of a different shape. So what I'm going to do is with these two ceilings, this creates a snap point right here, which then allows you to have this awesome shape. So I went ahead and added a wall and actually two walls right here, which can be, which you can actually turn into door frames if you wanted it. So the reason I kept this ceiling right here is because of this. If you want this to be kind of a very, very cool watchtower, watch this. So we're going to go ahead and extend the ceilings. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and extend the ceilings all the way out here. So check this out. Go and extend your ceilings all the way out here. And you're going to have kind of like what would look like if you had if you went all the way up to the like the the top of the visqueen and like the top of the map you would have like a windmill and if you went like that it would look like a windmill <laughs> sorry if i just made someone sick but anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ceiling out this way just like that now check this out we're gonna put a ramp oh wrong one we're gonna put a ramp that goes just like that we're gonna put a ramp just like that and just like Come on, snap, big boy. There we go. Sometimes you gotta play with it and get it to snap. And then you gotta snap it just like... You can make a little song out of it. Snap it just like that. No, I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Um, So yeah, you kind of have to play with it sometimes and get it to um, get it to snap. It's a little bit wonky because it does not want to place that way. But in one of my builds, I've actually utilized this to make a pirate ship's hull. It's a great way to make curves, to make um, to make watchtowers, obviously. It's a great way to do this, guys. It's a wonderful way to add a little bit of uh, pizzazz to your, uh, to your builds. So check this out, guys. This now turned this regular old boring watchtower, this rectangular structure, into an amazing freaking watchtower that can actually serve a few purposes. Now, what is really cool about this type of build is, check this out. You can now kind of put your walls up like this and kind of go like this and... Oh, those walls placed backwards. Gotta love's arc building system, but that's okay. All right, so we can go ahead and place these walls the regular way. There we go. In ten, ten walls inside. There we go. And you can go ahead and place the walls one more side up. And because it's even, it, it, uh, it uh, lends itself to be something a little bit kind of nifty. So check this out. Go ahead and get that one right there, and we'll go ahead and get that one right there. And if you're wondering how I can carry so much, I have my uh, my settings jacked up uh, a crap ton. So check this out. You got that right there, and you got that right there, that right there, and then you just put a sloped roof on top of it. And hell, you could put a thatch roof on top of this and make it kind of like a, uh, a thatch roof outpost. And check this out, you guys. You have yourself a tree. You got yourself kind of like a, a tree outpost. Where you can put it inside of the forest, it even looks like it could fit inside of the redwood forest or like a uh, like the palm the palm front like the palm tree uh, areas and stuff like that. This is a very very cool design that I've never actually utilized. Just kind of threw it together, was thinking about it in my mind, and you could supplement each one of these um, outcroppings with railings and everything like that. So let's go ahead and see what this would look like as a finished product with a bunch of embellishments, door frames, uh, railings, maybe generators, maybe auto turrets, all of that stuff, guys. So give me a second to get that stuff on it, and we'll look at the finished product of a watchtower by adding amazing, like, embellishments like this. So give me a second. And there you have it, you guys. You can turn a regular boring old outpost, watchtower, whatever you want to call it, into a completely functional, amazing looking, aesthetically pleasing watchtower outpost, whatever you want to call it. Fit with four auto turrets. It's got a protected generator. It's it's got not not got the most uh, practical wiring situation inside, but it's got an omnidirectional lamp post. It's got a ladder that goes up to the front or up to the top, and it's got a nice little area down here to go inside. And it looks very very nice. It's clean and it's very cost effective. Especially if you were going to make this out of metal, out of stone. This is very uh, doable early game if you wanted to make this out of wood. Put this on top of a base. It's very doable for early game if you wanted to do that. Obviously minus the auto turrets <laughs> as far as early game. That would obviously be, re be replaced with Plant Species X and um, Standing Torches. But nonetheless guys, the... Uh, uh, the outpost and uh, the watchtower design and pretty much any of that stuff is pretty, it's it's easy. You know, it, 
any anything can be made better with a couple more slants put in and stuff like that. So I hope you guys can start to utilize slants in your build. They look they make things look very very good. They make things look clean. They give it a little bit more. They give it more lines. They give it something a little bit more uh, a, a little bit more definition. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a building tutorial. It was more along the lines of me just kind of building from my head and then passing along kind of a neat little tip to you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this, please let me know. I would love to do more of this in the future on Riantium's Top Tips. And um, feel free to stay tuned for, uh, for more Riantium's Top Tips, guys. I post this every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I also post uh, Montage Monday videos, which are just ARC um, um, builds uh, made uh, with montages every, uh, every Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if that interests you, stick around and, uh, and watch those if you would like. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter at CouchPotato1898. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Uh -huh.